How you doing folks, this is Tom. Kim's Toys 90 is my eBay handle. Twitter, I go by Tommy for USA. Always keep right. Always keep right. Anyway, this is what I'm selling. This here is a Model A gas tank. It's got one little pinhole there. Other than that, it looks pretty good. That's a fender I have. I'm not sure the year. This might be 3031. The frame down here is marked 2829 frame. These fenders I acquired. There's all four that met. Looked like they were black at one time and someone painted yellow over them many years ago. Don't know. These lights here are 903 J's guide. I don't have the ring out here, but I do have the carcass and the bar you know, sandblasted and then primed with uh, appliance paint that's stainless steel. Looks pretty nice. I like the paint. Real nice. Anyway, <laughs> this house shows is a Model T radiator shroud. This here, I was told, is a Model A because it has this little body line. I believe this is a 1927 Model T, and this is a perfect candidate for a rat rod. Uh, and this is not a fifteen or twenty thousand dollar hot rod with orange paint or yellow paint. You know, this is a rat rod. Uh, I got it, the doors weren't on, so I've been putting the doors on. They still need a little tweaking. This is the worst door where it's split down here. This is the frame. It's got the running board brackets. That's bent. The other one is not. So, rust-wise, that's the only rust through there is. Other than down here, below here. Now, these fenders these fenders are from a pickup truck. They don't seem to want to match. Of course, this is a Model T. This is Model A. So that's another reason they don't match. Now, I did rub some of the rust off, and there's black paint behind that. There's, there's black paint. I use what they call ZUD. It's rust remover. I put it on there a little bit and, and rubbed it with like a steel wool, and I got the rust off. And so there's black paint under there. This trunk lid is the worst spot, but someone with good welding skills can tack all this back together, put a piece of metal in there so it's solid. Other than that, this, I don't know what kind of bullet this is. This ain't bullet hole. That's, that's like mortar. That's what they did in Benghazi. <laughs> no, I don't know. It, it looks like a branch or something. Some chunk of metal fell on it. Uh, anyway, this is the hood, and the hood works real good. It, it even has the little uh, bracket to hold it up. Now, back on the rust over here, this is really the only rust through. This little spot right here uh, shows uh, that that's not no sort of fast. It doesn't have the straight edge down here. Uh, the the frame, or what they call not the model A frame, but the subframe. The subframe is pretty solid. There's a dent right here where someone someone pulled it or something. Dent right here, and then there's a dent back here. A little bit of rust through here, but that's where a spare tire holder would go, and then you'd hide the spare tire. But, you know, I'm amazed at the black paint that's still under here. But then, this over here looks like it was beat up a little. So you got this corner and the corner up there. Again, for a lat rod, this is good. Now, someone with some good body skills can take a little dolly and a hammer and get that a lot smoother. 
Some of these little cracks can be filled up. That ain't too bad. This thing's 80 some years old. 27 uh, to uh, 2007. 80. So it's like 83 years old. Or well, 85 years old. This door here. Now there's there's the guts in that one. This one there's no guts in. This here hinge is, bro is bent. Do you see this hinge? I think this hinge is supposed to be straight. Yeah, this hinge is bent, and I and I can't get it to shut. A little bit of tweaking there, and that would work. Now all these bolts here look like the wood was there and the wood rotted, and then then fell apart. This would have had a wood roof. The dash looks real nice, not cut up. I've seen many of these and they always had that hole, so that must have been for a button of some sort. Now, as you can see, in the one ad, I said I have these torque thrust rims. Uh, that's 14 inch. That's a homemade white wall. Look sharp for white walls. That's another torque thrust rim. Now, the front axle, is a model, I think it's a model A front axle. It's got a uh, rack and pinion. You can see the rack and pinion down there. This is the uh, uh, power steering fluid that would go to the bracket that mounts to that rack and pinion. It's got hairpins over there. You see the shock if someone wanted to ride without these fenders. I, I sort of like the fenders. So, I had many people call, uh, Wisconsin, Illinois, Nevada, uh, all over. A thousand bucks the way it was with all this stuff. Now, somebody just wants the body. He wants the body and the headlights for a thousand bucks. I don't know what I do with the rest of this stuff. As you can see, I don't have a lot of room. That's the famous Coca-Cola caddy rat on YouTube. You just put in Coca-Cola caddy rat in your address bar and that video will come up. And of course, you gotta have plates on it to drive it on the street. Now, while I had this posted on Craigslist, the guy saw what I had in the back. What I have back here is a 28 Studebaker Touring limousine. It's again a rat rod. Put my hood.